Larry from That's What's Cooking. Today we're going to be making a family favorite of beef and broccoli. Make some beef and broccoli out of here on the flat top. We're also going to be trying a, a new recipe with the chicken. Something new that um, I've seen online. I'm going to try to make it myself. Uh, we've got our meat. We've got our chicken. We've got our vegetables. I have my flat top is oiled and heated up and ready to go, so uh, let's get to it, and that's what's cooking. We're going to start off first cooking the beef for the beef and broccoli. Um, this is just a London broil. It was on sale. Looks good. Uh, we cut it up in some thin slices, so we're just going to go ahead and brown this first. Put it all down here. Let me move it around a little bit. I normally cook my beef with onions. I use a lot of onions, but well, there's going to be onions in it, but we're actually going to cook the onions with the broccoli today. That'll be uh, something a little bit different, but I'm still going to add some spices onto here. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and put the spices on right now. I always use garlic salt. Put some garlic salt initially. I'll probably end up putting some more as the cooking goes on. I'll try a piece and see how, how the flavor is. But right now, that's a pretty good amount. We'll go ahead and add some pepper also. We're just gonna give it a good browning. I'll probably, in a few minutes, put it in, underneath the domes like I normally do. That way we can get that, or capture all that, that heat inside to give it a real good cooking. We want your meat to be cooked. I always stress that, it's, it's important. We want your meat to be cooked. So we're gonna go ahead and brown this for a little bit and we'll come back probably after I have it underneath the domes already just to see uh, how good it's been cooking already and then We'll be pretty close to adding the vegetables after that. So for right now, we're just going to go ahead and brown it, and uh, we'll be back. We're going to go ahead and check them now. They've been under the domes for a little bit. See how they're cooking. Real good, real good. It's juicy. They're cooking brown and real good. You don't want to dry out your meat, especially when you got it for beef and broccoli. You want it nice and tender. You can see where a lot of the juice is. So this is this is browning up good. We're just going to move it around a little bit. We'll probably go ahead and add some more spices to it. What we're using right now is just garlic, salt, and pepper, and probably keep it underneath the dome just for a few more minutes just to make sure that it is completely cooked then we'll probably move it off into a container and we're going to bring it back but we're going to do the vegetables and then we'll bring back the, the meat and we will combine it with everything and it should turn out pretty good hi we went ahead and pulled out the meat have the meat here in a container we are going to bring it back once we combine everything the sauce in with the meat and the broccoli um, we are going to cook the broccoli i went ahead and put down some onions first i, I cleaned my grill to get all the the meat um, juices off and i laid down a fresh coat of olive oil so we're going to go ahead and saute up the onions first a little bit and then we'll go ahead and put down the broccoli with some pepper and some garlic salt just to give it a flavor I like to give everything a little bit of salt and um, pepper so we're going to go ahead and saute up these onions a little bit and then we'll add the broccoli we went ahead and sauteed our onions here not all the way like you would think sauteed onions but we went ahead and started putting them nice little golden colors on there they will cook more when we have the broccoli on them so we're going to go ahead and spread out the onions a little bit and we're going to go ahead and add the broccoli and probably, well, I, I found some some shredded carrots. I got some shredded carrots. We're going to try something in new with a beef and broccoli, but let's go ahead with our broccoli on top. 
I got a lot of broccoli here. I got a lot of family, as usual, coming over for dinner, but that's okay. Uh, family over for dinner is, is what I like to do. So that gives me a chance to try try all these new things uh, cooking-wise and stuff like that. I enjoy it, and, and I know they enjoy it. So it's like, kind of like a win-win for all of us. So we're going to have, we got the broccoli on. We've got the sauteed onions on the, underneath. We've got some shredded carrots. Just like I said, something new with uh, beef and broccoli. Well, I think it's a shredded carrot, a shredded broccoli stem mix. So it's, it's all working out pretty good there. Okay, we got that on. We're gonna go ahead and add some garlic salt. Of course, garlic salt, of course, you know that already. Some garlic salt. We'll add some pepper. And I think I'm gonna add a little more oil to it, just to toss it up right now. A little bit of oil, not a lot. I just don't want anything to burn. So we're gonna have to throw a little oil on there. And let's go ahead and give it a nice tossing around. I think I lost a piece. That's okay. There's plenty more on here. And what I generally do is go ahead and spread it out. So I have a little of pile to work with. Now I work with, uh, when I'm cooking, I'm making a lot. Like I said, I have a lot of folks coming over for dinner all the time, a lot of family. But a lot of these things you could always do on a smaller scale, of course. So I'm going to make some smaller piles. We'll go ahead and divide them up because what we're going to do, we're going to add some water. And we're going to put them underneath the dome. So hopefully get a nice steaming effect on them. So we'll go ahead and come back in a few minutes when they've been under the, the domes and we'll see how they're cooking. Okay, they've been underneath the domes here for, for a couple minutes. We're gonna go ahead and check it, probably add a little more water just to get a steam effect. What we're trying to do is steam them up. So let's go and look, good, come on, pretty good. You can notice that the color, the color in the vegetables are changing, meaning they're cooking. So we're just squirting them some water, close it up to keep, try to keep that steam in. Good, good. There we go. Everything's cooking real good. I want to keep that steam effect on there, so... Okay, we'll go ahead and let them steam for a few more minutes and we'll check them again. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take the, the domes off. I did a couple times, turn them around, and I added some more garlic salt in there, some more water, trying to get that, that broccoli nice. You don't want it mushy. Tender. I mean, that's the way that I like it. I like my vegetables cooked. I like them tender. See, this is moving real good. Let's move this around a little bit. Yep. This is starting to tender up real good. I'm going to mix it a little bit. And what we're going to do, I'm going to clear a space out over here on the side. Because this still has a little bit of cooking to go. I mean, it's it's getting there, but it's not there yet. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to start warming up my beef and broccoli sauce. And what I've done, I'm going to put it right here. I bought this. It's called Lee Kum Kee. And it's a beef and broccoli sauce. It's got a real high rate. I found it uh, on the internet. You can buy it in the grocery stores, but of course I got a better price on the internet. And, and all I'm doing is putting it in a pan and it's already a sauce. So basically all, all we're gonna be doing is just heating it up. But we're gonna leave it here and, and it says to bring it to a boil. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring it to a boil while our vegetables are cooking a little more. What we're gonna do is move the broccoli off to the side, bring in the meat. We'll put on the sauce when it's boiled on top of the meat, and then we'll combine it all together and that'll give us our beef and broccoli. We're going to head back with our beef. It's all cooked. Had a lot of juice in it. Let's go ahead and 
just move it around just a hair. Just a hair. Get it warmed up a little bit pretty good here. And the reason why I do it separate is that we want the meat to get a that's the main part of the beef and broccoli. And I want it covered really good with the sauce, so it's just you get that great flavor on top of the meat. And then your broccoli, well, once you combine it, it'll get covered also. But most importantly, you want the meat covered with the sauce. So we have the meat spread out. We're going to go ahead and pour some sauce on there. We're going to go ahead and toss it up and see how it covers. I may have to add a little more in. But let's go ahead and add some in right now and see how it does. I'm going to pull off the top here. Okay. Pour it around. Yeah, may as well power the whole thing. Okay. And what we'll do is go ahead and toss it around. Get a real good mix on it. Then we'll add the vegetable. Okay, we've got a real good coat on the meat right now. I, I sectioned it off into two piles. That'll be easier for me to mix the vegetables in. But we got the vegetables that are cooked. We've got our meat that's coated. So we're gonna go ahead and just add in the vegetable. Add in half of it here. Add in some more over here. Kinda of even it out a little bit, of course. And we're gonna make sure we get everything out of there. Don't wanna miss anything. And I think that's pretty good. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is just give it a nice mix. Beef and broccoli, that's what we want. Smells delicious. It smells delicious. And we'll turn this pile and after we're done giving it a good mix, we'll just go ahead and put it in the container and get ready to eat it in a little bit, but we're gonna go ahead and make our chicken next. We're gonna go ahead and cook the chicken now. Um, it's just some chicken leg meat. Um, what we're gonna go and do is add in some green onions this time. You should cook with, with uh, some white onions, but someone suggested me to try some green onions, so we're gonna go ahead and try some green onions. Go ahead and put them on. We'll add our garlic, salt, and pepper. Toss it, cook it up, probably put it underneath the domes like I always do. Come back when it's cooked, and we've got a, 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 a new sauce we're going to try on it. Um, I've tried it before, I tried it on something else. It was good, but I think it's really going to be really good on the chicken. So let's go ahead and cook this up, get it brown, get it all nice and cooked, and then we'll come back and uh, put the sauce on it. We went ahead and took the domes off and I spread out the meat. It's cooked. It's cooked really well. It's tender, it's juicy. We tried some pieces. It tastes delicious. Those green onions that we cooked with it gave it a great flavor, great flavor. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is add in a nice new little sauce. It's pretty popular out there. I tried, like I said, I tried it before on something else. It was good, but I wanted to give it a try on something new. It's a chicken. It's called Mayploy. You see it, I know you can buy it anywhere. It's, it's really, really popular. It's a sweet chili sauce. So what we're gonna do, I have my meat spread out in a couple of piles. We're just gonna go ahead and put it up on top here. 
and let me put a, go ahead and open up another bottle and we'll add a little bit more. Then we'll mix it in. You don't want to overpower it. So let's go ahead and mix it in, see how it covers. And we'll decide if we need some more. Just go ahead and now we're just mixing it. We'll give it a good mix on both of them. And we'll do a little bit of a taste test here with uh, my camera crew and my, my right hand man, my dad. And we'll figure out if we need some more. Last thing we're gonna do after I put the chicken away is we bought some Udon noodles. Uh, we boiled them up. I'm gonna bring them out here. I'm just gonna fry them with some oil um, and some spices. And we will use that. We have rice cooking, white rice cooking also. So we're gonna have a choice. We're gonna have the broccoli and beef. We're gonna have our chicken with the sweet and chili sauce. And they can either put it on some noodles, rice noodles, the udon, or some white rice. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this away, and then we'll come back with the, the noodles. The last thing we're going to do is just fry up some noodles here. Um, we bought them, uh, we cooked them, and now I'm going to go ahead and just fry them up just a little bit. Not too where they're hard. Just uh, go ahead and put down some oil, put down the noodle, put down some spices. It should be pretty quick. Just gives the noodles just a little bit different flavor. We'll go ahead, make sure we have plenty, plenty of oil down. Just gonna spread them out a little bit. Put a little more oil on there. Rice noodles, like I said, you gotta do it quick or else it sticks. That's why I tried to put down plenty of oil. Move it around. You're still gonna have some that sticks, but the majority of it, once you start moving it around, start moving it around, it should be good. That's the key. Like I said, it's fast. Go ahead and have maybe a little bit. ahead and finished up with uh, noodles and I've gotten the family wanted some roasted cashews to go along with everything so that's what I'm doing right now just roasting some cashews on there just lay some oil down go ahead and roast them up a little bit these will be pretty quick after we finish here we're gonna go inside we're gonna show everything that we cooked today we're gonna make up a plate and that'll be our finished product well this is everything that we cooked we start off with our beef and broccoli. Actually looks really good. We got the beef and broccoli. And next we went to the chicken. So we put the maple sauce in there. We did some noodles. Well, excuse me, that's the rice. Well, we got noodles also. We did rice and right over here are the noodles. Here we are and we have our cashews and we're gonna go ahead and put it all together and we'll show you a plate. Well, we have our finished product here. We have our beef and broccoli on top of our rice noodles that we cooked. And we have our chicken and we threw some cashews on there. We put a egg roll on the side and well, chopsticks if, uh, if my dad wants to uh, use them. But this is it. This is what we're having for dinner. And uh, I think everyone's ready. They're just kind of waiting and uh, we'll give them the green light and we'll have a good dinner tonight. And we'll see you next time on That's What's Cooking.